Today we pray a prayer of thanksgiving to God for all that he has done. Father, be thou exalted in the earth and the heavens above. You're great and you're mighty, O God, and you're awesome in all your power, overseeing all the earth. Father, we thank you for your love that knows no bound. This love, O God, is poured out upon us every single day. And for this reason, O Father, we are not consumed. Your mercies, O God, are new every single morning. Father, we get up daily and we breathe the breath of life that you put in us. And allow us to remain in the land of the living because our purpose is not yet fulfilled. Father, we thank you for keeping us in times of war and in times of peace. We thank you, God, that your purpose, O oh God, shall be accomplished, whether in war times or peace time, because you're sovereign over all the earth. Father, we know that the wages of sin is death. And Lord, even in our sin, God, with our sin in the world, you continue to sustain us because you rather not the debt of a sinner, but that all should come to repentance. Father, oftentimes we find ourselves in a state of ungratefulness. We have a tendency, Father, to focus on what we need, what we desire, what we don't have instead of thanking you for what we have. So, Father, today we pause just to say thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you, God, for who you are. You're God over all creation. Father, we thank you for all the things that you have allowed in our lives to test us. My God, to allow us, God, to go after you, to allow us, God, to press into you because, God, if we didn't have a trial, we would never know that you could solve problems. And so, Father, we thank you for all the tests that you bring us through, allow us to go through the processes that you'll take us through because those processes, the Lord God, will help us to develop our character and our perseverance and our endurance. So we thank you, God, for the things that you allow in our lives. God, though sometimes it's hard and it's very difficult, we know that, God, you are with us and your grace will sustain us and keep us, God, as we navigate through those processes. Father, Lord God, we thank you even for the needs that we have because God those needs allow us to prove you as we depend upon you God our great provider father we thank you almighty God for our salvation we thank you for Jesus Christ and his shed blood upon Calvary that takes away the sin of the world I pray today father that you quicken us my God to serve you in spirit and in truth, God, and those who don't know you today, we thank you in advance that you're calling them to you and you'll save them, God, by your great grace and your divine mercy, almighty God. Father, today we make a choice to say thank you. We make a choice to say thank you, God. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for your faithfulness, God, to keep your promises even when, God, we are sometimes faithless, O oh God. Father, we bow our hearts and we confess our ingratitude and we say thanks for your mercies that endures forever and ever. Father, we thank you today. Thank you for all that you have done, all that you are going to do. We thank you, God, that you are God who is trustworthy. We can trust you we can depend upon you. We can count upon you. We can rest upon your promises, God. Thank you that your promises are yes and amen. And Father, I pray today that you'll strengthen us, God, 
And Father, you'll put in us a spirit of gratitude. And Father, when we forget what you have done, remind us of what you have done and what you will do. And Father, help us to give thanks unto you always, for you are good God, and your mercies endureth forever. As we go throughout this day, remember, God has done something for you, and you should give him thanks. The mere fact that you're listening to this prayer today, or, or have listened to this prayer today, is a reason to give God thanks, because you're reminded that God has been very good to you. Somebody can't give God thanks today, because they're no longer here in the land of the living. Have a fantastic day in the Lord. And as you go out today, regardless of what you're going through, what you're faced with, just pause and say, thank you, Lord. It will make a difference in your life. It will shift your focus from your situation unto God. Trust in him, believe in him, that he hears your prayer and he hears your gratitude and he will respond to you when the fullness of time has come. God bless you all and join me another time. And the Holy Spirit will allow me to pray another prayer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen.